Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about wigs. This is a patron request. So thank you Washi Hogs for the idea to do this video. Now I have actually been trying to do this video for around two weeks now. I sat down and I tried to write it several times trying to think about all the important things about wigs and every time I tried to start writing this video I kind of came to a standstill. And so I thought, you know what, let me just sit down and talk naturally and kind of let my thoughts flow and talk to you guys about wigs for dolls. And hopefully somewhere in this ramble of a video, there will be some information that is good for you. I did collect my thoughts a little bit, so at least there's that. So what I want to start is there's like four main categories in wigs and there's I, you know, I think there's like two, there's one category, this, this main category, and let me tell you what I consider that to be. And I'm going to use my two newest dolls to talk about that. And that is um, handmade wigs versus manufactured wigs. So what's the difference? Handmade wigs are generally made specifically for the doll that you're looking at. Now this one was not made specifically for this doll. It's on more of a stretchy cap but it was a handmade wig um, by Ubi Doll, or your manufactured wigs. Now, manufactured wigs means they are manufactured in a manufacturing facility, such as a factory, pretty much. And this, is, and they're made, you know, they're made in more, what's the word I'm looking for? They make more of them at a time. I wouldn't say mass produced, because I don't think doll wigs are really one of those items that we really mass produce, but um, they do manufacture wigs in doll factories. And this is a Monique wig. Monique is no longer in business, and so uh, you can't really get their wigs anymore from them, but there are still a lot of dealers. There's a lot of people that were dealers of Monique that still have old stock, so you can get new old stock fairly easily, either on eBay or through different Facebook groups. Uh, different people will have, will have new old stock of Monique wigs. Now, so we've got handmade that we talked about and we've got manufactured that we talked about. Now, the other two main categories that I sort of see are the type of fiber that is used in the wig. So you've got natural fiber, like this is a natural fiber um, tease water wool locks wig, or you have synthetic fiber like this. Now, synthetic fiber can be a lot of different things. Um, there can be, and I don't know how to pronounce this, I don't know if it's Kanekalon or Kankalon or Kanekalon, I don't know how you actually pronounce that word, um, but there, that's a type of um, hair, there's Saran, um, I don't know all the different types of uh, synthetic hairs that are out there, but those are a couple of the types just that you know if you see that word, it's a synthetic wig. People normally talk more about synthetic wigs uh, or synthetic hair when they're talking about rerouting projects, and I don't see the discussion so much around wigs, whether a wig is synth what the wig synthetic fiber actually is, if that makes sense. If a wig is synthetic, it's just synthetic. So we've got natural, like I said, we've got synthetic, we've got manufactured, we've got handmade. So that being said, let's kind of talk about some of the different wigs that I have in my collection and who made them and how they are made. So the synthetic wigs or the manufactured wigs are made in a factory and all of the manufactured wigs I have have stretchy caps. So what that means is they will fit multiple types of dolls because they have a stretchy wig cap. They've got wefts of hair sewn onto a wig cap and it's stretchable so it fits a variety of sizes. So you can see inside this one it says 4-5 which means it'll fit a head with a circumference of 4 to 5 inches. And so and it because it's stretchy it does um, a lot of dolls can share this wig, you know, but my Popovi dolls can wear this wig, um, Nat and Natalia Laseva can wear this wig, my Atelier Mamoni Petusas can wear this wig, my Tatiana Tofanetto um, doll essence dolls can wear this wig. So a lot of different dolls can wear that wig. Now here is a handmade wig done by Ubi Doll. So there's her um, tag inside and it is also done on a stretchy cap. That's what I love about hers is she's actually sewn 
the fibers onto a stretchy wig cap and that's why this wig is able to work for so many of my dolls because I had this originally on Hush but the artist had meant for Hush to be bald anyway. She was a full set and so when Shanna came in and I was like, I wanna try this wig on her. She totally stole this wig. You know, Ubi Doll, I have three of these wigs by Ubi Doll. They're incredible. I love the versatility. And I have other wigs by her too, but these natural locks wigs, I just absolutely, um, these Tease Water locks, I love, love, love the look that these wigs give. I think they just make a great natural um, wig. But anyway, and the, um, the i think these are the natural colors of the wool i don't think they're um they have to be dyed but a lot of times your natural fibers will be dyed so let's take a look at that that example so we just talked about two stretchy caps but let's talk about hard caps now so what you see with most bjds when it is a handmade wig is you see a hard cap and in order for an artist to make you a hard cap wigged doll they generally have to have at least the head of the doll because the way they do this is they cover the head with some sort of um, cling wrap and then they make a hard head cap and then they attach the fiber on oh, the back of her head came off they attach the fiber so you can see inside of that that is the hard wig cap there that is made and then the artist the wig maker will attach the wig my favorite wig maker is Anna Z. This is by her. She has a um, she has a House of Babes. Um, they call them mannequins when they are for making wigs and clothes and things like that. So she has a mannequin for this doll that she can do. She's made a lot of my Popovi wigs that I they actually use the Popovi. So she doesn't have a Momonita size doll, but the Popovi wigs work. For Momonita, so I put a lot of her hard calf wigs on other dolls that they weren't actually made for. Um, but generally speaking, like if you want the wig to be a perfect, like a glove fit, and it's a hard calf wig, they're going to have to have that head there at their house in their stash. Now, here's another example. This is a hard calf wig that is synthetic fiber. This is done by Hopeful Creation. I've got another wig on the way from him. Y'all are gonna think this is ridiculous, but I asked him to make me this same wig, um, same style, same color for Mama Moni. They're the same resin color, but I just love the wig so much. I think it looks just so amazing on this resin color. He finished it and shipped it out today. So when I get it, I'll show it to you guys because I wanna put her and I just love this look. Like, I think it's so cute. So she's going to be getting a wig just like this. It's weird that I know that I have the same two resin tones in the same wig, but I just love it. Like, so he does synthetic fibers. Um, so if you're wanting like a vegan um, synthetic wig that's handmade with a hard cap, uh, Hopeful Creation does a great job with that. I would also like to mention, just as we mentioned, if you've heard of Frapzilla, Frapzilla does the same thing. They actually use some soy fiber, so I don't think that's considered, that's considered natural. It's not synthetic, but it's not, it's still vegan. It's not natural, um, it's not natural animal products. So, but Frapzilla is no longer making wigs. So just putting that out there. If you've heard of Frapzilla, they do a hard cap wig um, using nat some natural, and I think they have some synthetic, but they're not animal fibers so anyway so that is um that is a hopeful creation wig on a hard cap using synthetic fibers which i love this wig the cool thing about um what i've always noticed with the synthetic fibers is they respond really well to like a dryer sheet i'll use a dryer sheet to kind of lay down the stray hairs and and kind of deal with the frizz and stuff and so I really like that about um, the synthetic fibers is that they they have that they respond really well to that. Sometimes like the alpaca will respond well to that as well, but it just sometimes that stuff just the static is just too much. Now let's talk about there's also natural wigs that are manufactured. So Anna Salvador uses natural wigs that are manufactured. These are mohair wigs and they are made by sewing wefts. Uh, onto a wig cap. So those are manufactured, you can see in there the size 7, 8, but it is real mohair. They also make a type of like synthetic mohair, um, 
went in manufactured wigs i'm going to show you guys that right now and i don't honestly know where you can get the real mohair manufactured i know monique used to make them kemper might make some i haven't bought wigs from kemper in a long time um, but Kemper does still sell wigs, but they do make, um, different manufacturers will make a mohair wig that is sewn onto a cap. And I had a wig here too from one of my pigeon dolls. I don't know where it's gone, but it is sewn onto a stretchy cap and it's real mohair. But they also make a synthetic sort of mohair, which is like this little Stella is wearing. This is a synthetic mohair. At least I think it's synthetic. I'm pretty sure it's synthetic. I can't always tell the difference. Um, the way you can tell the difference is if you have cats and they go after the wig, it is natural. <laughs> if they don't go after the wig, it's synthetic. Although my cats do go after stuff sometimes anyway. Now this is a manufacturer of wigs that I have noticed a lot of doll artists have started purchasing their wigs from. And this is, juice soons you can see that there when monique um closed their doors a lot of artists that i've been getting dolls from have these wigs connie lowe is using them charlene smith is using them with the my meadow dolls um, i know i've seen some others i can't place them right off the top of my head but they are available on Amazon. So if you're on Amazon, you can find the Jusun's wigs there. And I apologize if my pronunciation of that name is incorrect, but they make some really nice wigs. I really like the quality of their wigs. Most of their wigs feel like this faux mohair though. They don't have, I have not found a wig from them. That doesn't mean they don't make it, but I have not found a wig from them that has like the silky sort of, um, I guess you would even say plasticky sort of feel like the Monique wigs used to have. Some of the Monique wigs used to have. And that doesn't mean they don't make them. Again, I just haven't come across them. So those are, you know, those are some examples there. If you're wanting a natural wig, but you want it on a stretchy wig cap, they do make, look for, you'd want to look for a mohair wig in whatever size you're looking for. And then you, it should, you should be able to find some like that. Again, I'm not sure of what places carry that because I always get them with the dolls. But if you know of a good place, for that, leave it in a link below. Now, I wanna show you guys this wig as well. This is another wig I got on Amazon, totally synthetic. I've been very happy with the synthetic one-third scale wigs I've gotten from Amazon. I think they're gorgeous and they're very full. There's no like wig cap showing. I've bought in wigs from Leak World before and I did not like them, y'all. The quality I just felt like was not there compared to a wig half the price from Amazon, like on Prime. Like they are great. There's just not a lot of options with the Amazon. Now, the, again, Jusun's is on Amazon and you've got a lot of options there, but if you're going for these big, like this kind of fantasy color wigs, like this sort of style, there's not as much choice on Amazon. One place there is a lot of great choice in this sort of wig is from Zazu Dolls. I have never personally purchased from them before. It's not that I wouldn't, I just haven't like, you know, been searching for a wig and found one there to purchase, but I've heard loads of good things about them. I've seen them in person. They're really gorgeous, really high quality wigs. One of these days, I'm gonna buy several wigs from them and I will do a wig haul video for you guys. They make wigs for loads of different sizes. They make smart dolls, they make them for little darlings. Um, they make them in all sorts of different, they do have some beautiful natural styles, but they are all synthetic wigs. And so that that's a really good, um, wig manufacturer as well. If you, now they're manufactured, they're not handmade. So that's an example of one that you could take a look at. And I'll link everyone that I've listed um, in the video description below. Another one that I have is from Anastasia Fashion Doll. And that came on my Blue Blood, my Blue Caterpillar. That was her full set. So I really like this wig a lot too. Again, hard cap done totally hard cap. This is not stretchy. This will fit this doll's head and the other Pasha Pasha doll's head. And if in order to fit something else, it's going to have to be exactly that size. And so that's the thing with the hard caps. They look great. They are sleek. They, you know, they look so good on your dolls, but they're pretty much, you're limiting, you're limited by who can share what with. And they're more expensive, obviously, because it takes a lot more time to create something like this 
by hand than it does for a machine to hand sew, I mean a machine to hand sew, a machine to sew wefts of hair onto a wig cap. Now that's still, if you think about it, that's still done by hand to a degree, like they're still taking a cap and somebody has to hand sew that onto the cap, but it's not like where you're applying tiny wefts of hair to a hard wig cap each time. And so there is the natural, the handmade wigs, I've seen them go as low for around 50 dollars or 50 euros all the way up to Popovi wigs. My one Popovi wig from the Popovi sisters, I believe it was $800 y'all. And that is, I'll show you this wig. This I think was one of their less expensive wigs, but I don't even think you can order wigs from them right now. But you can see this is made with silk too, by the way. So they don't use animal products at all. They're totally vegan. This is, this is a silk wig. I also have a silk wig made by Pasha Pasha for my Dewey girl. And you can see inside how that looks. Um, but there's a lot of people that, you know, work with fibers like this and just make amazingly beautiful wigs. My personal favorite, um, I really love the Ubi doll wigs just because I think they look fantastic. Anna Z, her wigs are my favorite. I think she uses, she uses different fibers. I think she uses, um, she uses some goat and she uses some alpaca as well. Um, and it's just really down to your personal preference. Like what do you choose to use? Like what would you like to use and have for your doll hair and what you think looks best? So that is my discussion on wigs. I hope that it was interesting to you if you are kind of new to um, BJDs or new to learning about different doll wigs and things like that. That's just kind of a one over the, what is what is this phrase? One over the moon, just kind of like my broad um, de dive into wigs, I guess I should say. Uh, but if you have specific questions about wigs, leave them for me in the comments below. And if I can't answer them, somebody else watching here probably can. You guys do a great job of that, of helping each other out in the comments of these videos. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you again to Washi Hugs for the idea for the video. I will leave all the names of the wig shops I mentioned in the video description so you guys can check those out and maybe go wig shopping, get yourself a little something. That's the nice thing about wigs is wigs are an inexpensive, they can be expensive depending on what kind of wig you're going for, but wigs are a fun and inexpensive way that you can change up your doll's look. If you're, you know, you, a new doll's not in the budget for you, you might just want to grab a new wig, change your doll's look up because sometimes just changing a wig can change your entire, like your entire, the way that you bond with a doll, your entire outlook on a doll, just a, just a nice wig change can do that. So I think it's always worth giving it a shot. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below and I'll try to answer them and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, and Black Y. Thank you so much for your support. Your support helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the video description. Thank you for watching.